Hey guys, it's Kevin and welcome to our Cinema 4D tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a uh, cross and uh, the cross is going to be made up of many letters of the alphabet, all the letters of the alphabet, hopefully. And uh, I want to show you how to do that. So I'm in Cinema 4D and uh, let's go ahead and start on this project. Uh, what we want to do first is model our cross. And so that's pretty easy to do. Just get a cube. Um, and then what we want to do is just change the size of that. So for example, um, the X is probably going to be around 50. The Y can be at 200 for right now. And then the Z can be around a little bit less, maybe like 25, something like that. Let's make the X around 25 as well. And that's not bad. So this is the, the, the top of our cross beam. I'm actually going to make it um, just a little bit longer. Let's make it about 300 centimeters like that. Then what we want to do is duplicate that. So just hold control on your, your keyboard and then drag a new one. And so now you have two of these cubes and uh, we just want to rotate this one 90 degrees and we want to make it shorter. So instead of 300, we're probably going to do around 175. Oops, we got the wrong one. 175. And let's go ahead and bring this up to somewhere right in there. And I think that's going to look fine little cross right there. I'm actually going to go ahead and make my cube, my tall cube, a lot longer. For, I'm going to do 400 centimeters, um, but I'm just going to make it like this. And there's a reason I'm going to do that. I'll show you later why I'm making it, you know, a lot taller than it should be. Uh, but something kind of like that, I think, will be fine. All right, so there's our cross. Pretty simple shape right there. Let's go ahead and combine both of these um, layers together and then right click and let's do um, connect objects plus delete. So now we have this object all together. And I think that looks fine like that. Your, your shape may be a little bit different, uh, but overall I think this is about the shape that we want. All right, so now what we want to do, we want to put this into a connect object. So let's just go to your uh, connect, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, layer, whatever we'll call it, our connect, and we'll put the cube inside it. Let's go ahead and just change that name of the cube to cross. And now we are ready to start adding stuff into this connect layer. Um, so what we want to do is we want to add letters uh, to this cross. So we want to make it fill um, completely up with letters. And so what I want to do is uh, we're going to do a cloner. So let's go ahead and get a cloner, MoGraph cloner. And um, I'm going to put um, some objects in here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing letters. Uh, so let me go ahead and do the first letter of the alphabet, which is A. So let's go ahead and go to MoGraph, Mo Text, and then uh, we're going to change this to the letter A. Okay, so there's our A letter right there. I do want to change the font. I don't like that font. Um, and you can change the font to whatever you want to, but something kind of blocky uh, would be good. I wouldn't do any type of cursive. Um, any type of uh, italics or anything like that. I would do a nice bold font for this one. So like an impact uh, would be good or you know, Helvetica or I'm going to do, I'm going to do Mont. I think that's going to be fun. That's a good thick font right there. So you see how thick that that is right there. So I like that. I think that's going to be fine. I am going to go to my caps and I'm going to add just a little bit of a bevel here. So I'm going to add one centimeter of bevel, maybe two centimeters. I just want to make sure there's just a little bitty edge right on the edge of this thing. It doesn't need to be perfectly sharp. It needs to have just a little bit of edge on there. And I think two centimeters uh, would be fine. And our depth, let's see. I think we're going to make our depth just a little bit more, maybe 30 centimeters, 40. Let's split the difference, 35. We'll do 35 centimeters. I can always change this later, uh, but I think that is a good thickness right there. All right, so that's pretty much all you gotta do for the letter A. I'm gonna just go ahead and change this to A, and I'm gonna stick that inside of my cloner. And so what the cloner automatically does is it does this linear clone where it adds three of them together. We don't want that. We want it to the shape of that cross. And so what we want to do is um, on your cloner, uh, object right here. We want to make sure that the mode is not linear, it's object, and then we want the object to be this connect. So bring this connect, drag it right into here on our object like that, and it looks crazy, but that's okay. We're going to fix that in a second. And let's go ahead and make our connect invisible. So just make sure you hit 
uh, red on both of these. And now we don't see that cross. Okay, so now that we're here, we want to make sure that our distribution is going to be a uh, volume. So go and do a volume down here. And I think that's going to be fine like that. Now, our letter A is much too big, obviously. So we're going to want to make that a little bit smaller. So let's just go um, to our A letter here and let's make it significantly smaller. Or you can make the cross bigger. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to make it very much smaller, kind of like that. And now let's see what it looks like. Now we can see that the A's are starting to fill up that cross, but it doesn't fill it up completely because we don't have enough of them. The cloner automatically starts it at 20 um, for the volume, but you can um, change that number to whatever you want. So if we were to do 100, for example, um, now you see where it's starting to fill up this cross. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this cross all the way to the top here. Okay, so now we're actually on the plane. All right, so you can see how it's starting to fill up um, the volume of this cross with these letters. And that's what we want. That's exactly what we want. And uh, you can, um, you know, you can change the size of these. Um, you don't have to go back to the letter A and change the size if you don't want to. You could actually just go to um, your cloner and click transform and then just go here to your, your, um, your size over here, your X, Y, and Z. One would be normal, two would be twice as big. Um, and then if you did want, wanted to do like one half, like 0.5, that would make them smaller as well. Uh, so you don't have to go back to your A every single time. You can just go here into the cloner and change it. And so I'm thinking, um, I'm just gonna leave it at one for right now, um, but I'll probably will change it once we start adding more letters. All right, so this is what we've got. It's starting to fill up our, um, our fill up our cross. And so that looks good right there, but we need more letters. Of course, we need to do all the letters of the alphabet. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my A um, layer right here and then just hold control and duplicate it. So now we have a B or we have another layer that we're going to change to B. So just change that to B just like that. And now we have A's and B's um, are inside of this cross. And so if we were to add a, a color here, so let's change it to blue, for example, for our A's, and then we'll change it to green, just for example, for our B's. Now you can see that we have an even number of A's and B's in here, and they're kind of randomly distributed uh, throughout the cross. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another one. We're gonna do a C, and then every time you do that, Let's change this one to C. Make sure your text also changes. So every time you do that, now there's going to be an equal number of um, letters in here for each letter that you have. So there's going to be 33% are going to be uh, the A's, 33% are going to be B's, 33% are going to be C's, etc. So the more you add them, uh, the more it evenly distributes them. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to go ahead and add all 26 letters of the alphabet and uh, skip through this part of the tutorial because uh, I don't think you want me to watch that. But let me go ahead and add all of the letters in here and then we'll move on. All right, we've got all the letters in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and erase all of these uh, textures here. I don't want to, to add these colors yet. So uh, we've got all of the letters in here. Um, we've got, what, 100 uh, different letters and there's 26 in the alphabet. So there's probably about four or so of each letter. And so they're all represented like that and they're all just a big old mess right now. So that's that's not a bad start where we're at. Now, another thing that we can do is um, we can start playing with our cross if we don't feel like the cross um, is the right shape that we want. So for example, we can go back to our um, cross here and make it a little bit um, deeper if you want to. So just go onto your cross, hold your T down, and then you can drag it and make it a little bit deeper, kind of like that. That might look a little bit better. Let's see how that looks. So now you can see that the letters are going just a little bit further back. So I think that'll be fine like that. 
All right, and I think we are gonna add some more letters in here. So instead of 100, let's do like 200. Let's see how that looks. Now they're all getting jumbled in there, but they are filling up the entire volume of that cross pretty well. So I think that looks good like that. Um, another thing we can do is we can add a random effector to all of these letters. So if you wanted to go make sure your cloner is collected, go to um, MoGraph, do random. And uh, on your parameters, we don't want to change the, um, the position. So click that off. But you can change other things like your scale. So you can change your scale um, for each one of them if you wanted to do that and make them, you know, pretty much randomize in all different shapes and sizes here or different, you know, different sizes at least. Um, or you can do your rotation as well. So if you wanted to rotate, um, randomly rotate some of these um, letters, you could do that the way that you want it. So now they're all kind of jumbled like that. Um, but the random, the random generator is pretty fun for stuff like that. But I don't think I'm going to use it uh, for this one, but you could uh, play around with it if you wanted to. Now what we want to do is uh, we want to um, we want to make the letters not intersect each other. So if you zoom in, you see that the letters right now they're you know they're all jumbled in there, but they're kind of like intersecting with each other. And you can see like the E and the Z right there. They're intersecting. It just doesn't look right. Um, so we want to make sure that they're not touching each other. And so one way that we can do that is to make them into a um, a rigid object. And so if we go to um, our tags here, go to cloner, right click, and then do simulation and rigid body. Uh, if you hit play, they're just all going to go everywhere uh, because they don't like to touch each other. They're rigid bodies. And so if they're intersecting, they're going to kind of break apart here. So I'm going to, uh, uh, what I want to do is I want to, um, I want to get them uh, away from each other so they're not touching each other but I still want to maintain that cross shape and so how I'm going to do that and there's probably more than one way to do this but how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to my force uh, on the tag right here I'm going to change my follow to about two I would guess and then our rotation I'm going to change it to 10 and uh, let's see how that looks right there so now you can see it kind of maintains that shape just a little bit. Some of the letters are starting to go all over the place, but it maintains the shape, uh, generally speaking. So you still have that cross shape, but the letters are not, um, they're not intersecting anymore. They're actual, they're actual objects here. And uh, so I think that looks pretty good like that. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to make a surface for them all to fall on. So what I'm going to do is uh, I want to have them a surface where they fall onto the ground and they kind of pile up. And so what I want to do for that is um, I have something from Grayscale, uh, Grayscale Gorilla, um, which is called the Light Kit. And so I'm going to do a Light Kit here. These, these are really awesome. It just it's all of the little presets that you can use. And uh, I really like these. Um, and you can you choose any one of these. Um, you do have to pay for these um, if you don't want to um, design your own back backgrounds. But uh, I like using these things here. I'm just going to click this one. I may not finish with this one, but I'm going to click this one. And uh, here is what my letters look like. That cross is very big, though. So here is my here's my background. You see my big uh, uh, soft boxes here. And uh, that's just a lot. That's just too big. So we're just going to make this whole thing a lot smaller because it was just too big. Okay, so let's do it at about that size right there. I think that's going to be fine. So now I have a floor for it to fall onto. Let's go ahead and make it just a little bit smaller. Okay, so now that I have them, I have a floor for it to fall onto, all I have to do is go to my S curve, which is the floor here, and then right click that, change that simulation to a collider body. And now when I hit the thing, uh, the play button, they kind of fall onto the ground. So you can see my cross, I still have that cross shape, but they're falling onto the ground. Now, if I didn't have that follow on my tag, so if we go back to our forces and we did zero and zero, then this is what it's going to look like. They're just going to fall into a big old pile on the ground. And that's that's not what we want. Um, they're just going to do like that. And so that's why we put the follow on here. Two and ten seem to work well for me, but uh, you might find something that's a little bit better. But something kind of like this, I think, looks pretty good. Now we have 
Um, the cross, it's a very rough cross shape here, but you can see it's kind of like piling up on the ground. And uh, I think that looks good here. We haven't textured the, the letters yet and uh, we haven't rendered it yet. So we don't know exactly what it looks like, but I think something like that uh, looks pretty good. So we have that cross shape with all of these letters. I do think the letters are a little bit too big. So I'm gonna go to my cloner, go to transform and where it says one, one and one, we're gonna do 0 0.7, 0 0.7 and 0 0.7. Let's see how that looks. Now they are a lot smaller letters, but I don't think we have enough of them. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more count here to maybe uh, 300 for our count. And let's play it. And we get something like this. There we go. So that's why I did my cross a little bit longer than, than you would think I would need to, because I wanted it to uh, interact with the floor right here. So something kind of like that. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. So I do want to experiment with one more thing though here. So uh, we have on our cloner, um, we have our cloner set to volume, but let's try the surface and see what that looks like there. So when we do surface, it kind of like, it's kind of weird. It doesn't fill the middle of the cross. It just feels like the outside edges of them. So some of them are like flat. Some of them are going straight up and down. But it could still be a neat effect if we do it like that. So let's go ahead and hit our play button and see what happens. It's very similar. But it's a little bit more, it kind of looks a little bit weird right here at the, the cross section. So I'm thinking volume might be our better option. Like that. So the entire middle part of the cross is filled, just like that. All right, let's go ahead and do, I'm not gonna do a, a texture tutorial here. This is, this is pretty much how you do this, but let's go ahead and do a little render test here. I'm gonna go to, I'm using Redshift as my render. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to render view here and let's bring this up and see what it looks like. And this, we have that little soft box there. Let's make sure that soft box is gone. All right, so let's just move this over here. There we go. All right, so when we hit play, it falls down to the ground. I'm just gonna leave it about right there. Let's go see our render view here. And this is what our render view looks like. What are you doing? Okay, so here we go. Now there's no colors on here. There's no textures or anything like that. So we don't have that part yet. But you see the, you see how it looks with the shadows and everything. I can turn some of these lights off. That's, so maybe something like that. So you can see the harsh shadows in there. Uh, but that's pretty much what it looks like. That's that's what your cross uh, would look like with these letters, just made out of all these letters. You can make the letters bigger or smaller. Um, and you can take some of these letters and put them on the ground nearby. And uh, just a really little uh, fun project that you can do with. So let me go ahead and show you what the, uh, the end result looks like after I did a bunch of uh, textures and lighting and all that stuff. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to make these things. And I look forward to seeing what you guys can create. But until the next tutorial, guys, Keep creating and I uh, will see you again at the next video.